spooky scary time guys hey guys STL back at gaming here bringing you another reaction to a nukes top 5 video today we have five scary ghost videos you'll see in your nightmares which is uh, terrifying it's, it's just it's, it's just terrifying I love the support I got on the cycle gameplay <laughs> But you still smashed the views and it got me a lot of subscribers. So, hello, new guys. Welcome. I do reactions too, so and also drop a like if you know you, you feel like you feel like you want to, you know. Anyway, uh let's begin. It's time for this spooks and the scariest guys, it's time for this spooky scary. Top five ghosts caught on camera. Curse of Hell's Bar Dam. The Hell's Bar Dam, located on the Tennessee River in Helltown, Tennessee, was. Okay, uh, guys, real quick. Uh, at two o'clock, I will be streaming the new Minecraft Dungeons game. Uh, it's a MMORPG version of Minecraft. It looks really cool, and I was gonna play it or live stream it uh, to YouTube. So that'll happen at two o'clock. So, this video should go out before that video comes up. So, stay tuned for the live stream of the new game. Hopefully that goes well, you know. I'm ready for it. That's why I'm up. I also updated my camera. Is why it looks so nice. So, look at that. I'm actually trying. Look at me. You like my dog? He got ice on his wrist. Yeah, let's get it. <laughs> Was built in 1913 on former Native American land that is supposedly cursed. The dam is often called the most haunted dam in the world, and it has a very dark history. During the construction of the Hales Bar Dam, hundreds of workers lost their lives in workplace accidents. Of course. Then, soon after As the dam's completion, do. it began to spring leaks on a weekly basis. What? Under the dam, there was a narrow tunnel used by local children to get across the river to school. One fateful day, a sudden massive leak caused the tunnel to flood, ah. trapping many of the school children inside. Of course. Records of the event are sketchy, but it is believed that at least two of the children lost their lives in the flood. Of course. Eventually, it was found that the ground the dam was built on was unstable. So a new dam was built further downstream and the old Hells Bar Dam was abandoned. In a two-part investigation, YouTube ghost hunter Franco TV explores the cursed grounds of the haunted dam. As oh, he right. If you guys want to check out Nukes Top 5, he'll be in the description below. I think I forgot to put him in the description below last time, so I'll do that when I get the chance to. He walks through the abandoned underground tunnel. Things start to get a little strange. Sound like a voice, champ. Nah, son. All right. Come on. <laughs> Did it actually say get out? <laughs> nah, son. Couldn't be me, chief. Sorry, bud. I have a light, but that's too bright. Oh, actually, go. It's not. It's actually kind of good. All right. Oh, 
Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention. I was Later, as a heavy storm rolls in, Frank continues his exploration in a different part of the Hales Bar Dam. Frank sets up a spirit box in a decaying room. But he catches something on camera that he never expected. Is it okay that I could record in this room? Yeah, sure. I don't know if that's what it said. You guys correct me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, whoa. It almost looks like the shape of a face is peeking in the window. Franco TV later finds out that he caught another unexpected surprise on camera. Okay. While he's exploring, Frank leaves a night vision camera recording the large entryway of the dam. Bro, as long as it's not no shadow figures, we're good. Did you see it? I didn't see it. On the upper no, floor, no. a mysterious dark figure walks from left to right along the walkway, and then just seems to disappear into thin air. I see it. To see more of Franco TV's paranormal investigation of the Hells Bar Dam, check out his two part video series over on his YouTube channel. Yeah, check him out if you want to finish Whispers watching the rest of that. Whispers on the Wind. YouTuber Syntax77 is a backpacker and outdoorsman who posts accounts of his adventures while hiking deep in the secluded woods and mountains. In his videos, he gives camping and hiking advice and also tests out gear as he camps out overnight in the middle of nowhere. None of his videos are about anything related to the paranormal. However, in one video uploaded on June 2nd, 2019, YouTube viewers noticed something truly bizarre. After a long hike alone on the Kahana Trail in Pennsylvania, Syntax 77 sets up camp right next to the ruins of what was once an old farmhouse. Because obviously. He starts eating his dinner for the night. This happens. Man, that's good. A little bit of a gravy in there. I'm happy. It's calm, peaceful. A little breeze through the uh, treetops. But nothing too bad yet. Bruh. YouTube commenters believe that a voice can be heard saying, be quiet, stay silent. I'll boost the audio, Bruh. listen again. I'm happy. It's calm, peaceful, a little breeze through the uh, treetops, but nothing too bad yet. Bruh. Oh, okay. Syntax right. 77 spends the night in a hammock right beside the creepy farmhouse ruins. The next morning, he packs his things and starts to head back. And it seems that something is very eager to see him go. That's the trees we had to set up on. This is the other foundation here. Cool little spot, for sure. But uh, time to move on. You can see, I don't know if you can see, but... Right as Syntax 77 walks by the ruins of the old farmhouse, a bizarre voice can be heard whispering, get out. But uh, time to move on. You can see, I don't know if you can see, but. So is this the ghost of the former farmhouse owner demanding that he leave? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? I have no idea. To this day, Syntax 77 has not responded to any comments regarding the EVPs. He still actively posts hiking and camping videos to his YouTube channel, but nothing supernatural. The Road to Ruin. These next two scary videos were captured on a secluded forest road near Mexico City named the Desierto de las Leones, or in English, the Lion's Desert Road. The local townspeople tell ghost stories of strange dark figures running across the road late at night, oh, causing motorists to swerve off the road and crash. There we go. These unexplained incidents are said to be especially common around the 31 kilometer mark on the road. The uninhabited buildings along the roadside are also said to be haunted by these roaming spirits or entities. Great, of course they are. On the Mexican YouTube channel Terror Alex Stramo, a team of urban explorers travel to the allegedly haunted road to see if the stories are true. Bueno, pues vamos grabando un poco del recorrido, porque les repito, la gente dice que se aparecen fantasmas 
y se les avientan a los vehículos. ¡Ay, güey! ¡Cabrón! ¡Ay, güey! Güey, no mames, ¿qué fue eso? Something seems to hit their truck. But uh, when they check, there's nothing there. So, they continue driving down the creepy it. road. Pues hasta ahorita... La verdad es que hace un chingo de frío, discúlpenme por la cacería. Hace bastante frío, amigos. Que la verdad... Sí da un poquito de... Güey. Oye, güey, oye, güey, están tocando allá arriba. Están tocando arriba, están tocando arriba. Pero tú escuchas que suena como alguien caminando en la calle. Uy, güey. Tranquilos, tranquilos, ya, perdón, ya me iba a caer. ¿Qué fue eso? Again, something hits the truck, but they can't find the source. They decide to take a short break on the side of the road. Without even knowing it at the time, they capture something on camera that is downright chilling. Oh, great. Of course. No vintes. Se siente bastante el frío por aquí. Did you see it? As they're sitting in their truck, a strange figure seems to run towards the empty park building at the top of the hill. Now there are no other cars around, so that leaves the question: just who or what was this mysterious figure, and why were they running around in the woods I don't know. in the middle of the night? Uh, maybe they like it. The urban explorers continue down the road and find one of the allegedly haunted buildings. Again, they don't seem to be alone. Avienta toda tu luz. And I didn't see that? Al cien. Really? You want me to believe they didn't see that, como bro? Está bien oscuro? Sí, do you mean bien. right there, bro? What do you mean? Uy, no puede ser, Luis. ¿Qué? Luis, alguien se acaba de asomar ahí de esa ventana. Uh, no, manches, neta. Sí, güey. Right, they better have a gun, bro. What are they doing? Aquí lo vi. I'm hungry, but <clears throat> But it gets even weirder. Of course, As they does. search the area around the building. Things take a chilling turn. Como ves si? What the hell? ¿Qué fue eso? ¿Qué? ¿Estás bien? Did he just get hit by a log, ¿Estás bro? bien? Oh, no mames. No, it's time to go home. Sí, espérame, no te muevas. Ahí tienes la marca de lo que te pegó, güey. Yeah, bro, it's time to go. They just decide to leave. Yeah. But as they do, they have one last bizarre encounter. A dark figure runs across the road right in front of their truck. Oh, man. What makes their experiences even more bizarre is that another YouTube channel has witnessed and captured similar activity at the exact same building. YouTube paranormal researcher Alberto Del Arco was investigating the Lions Desert road marker. Mm -hmm. He didn't find much in his investigation, but his cameraman accidentally catches something very creepy. Watch closely. Deberíamos de buscar el camino al coche nuevamente. ¿Seguro? A ver, es por aquí. Ajá. ¿Qué fue eso? Sí, ¿qué fue? ¿Qué fue eso? ¿Qué fue eso? No sé, este lugar está muy gacho. ¿Ya viste ese tronco? Oh, I saw it. Now, Alberto and his cameraman didn't notice it at the time, but a dark shape can be seen moving in the left window of the same Why is it empty so big? stone house Bruh. where the other team saw the same figure. Nah. So did YouTube channels nah. Terra Alextremo and Alberto nah. Del Arco capture evidence of the Lions Desert Road being haunted no, by bro, sinister I'm, I'm, spirits? Bro, look, you decide. Nah. 
Check out their channels to see more shocking footage that they captured like during this their one investigation. Wasn't really that Alex Stramel and Alberto Delarco capture ran evidence by, of the Lions Desert Road being haunted by sinister spirits. Bro, look at that thing. Bro, come on now. Oh my days. You decide. Jesus. Check out their channels to see more shocking footage that they captured during their investigations. But it gave Meanwhile, me chills, bro. I'm paranoid now. TikTok user Josiah Worley okay. isn't shy when it comes to his drinking habits. He often gets extremely intoxicated and uploads multiple videos to TikTok. Now, the subject of his videos has caught a lot of viewers' attention. Josiah believes that his house might be haunted and records the almost daily paranormal activity. Am I tripping? Am I tripping? Do you see that? Oh, oh, okay. Can you not do that, please? Can you not do that, please? Same, bro. Yeah, I'm leaving. Here are my hands. Did you see that? Did you can see that? Here are my feet not moving. Here are my hands and my feet. Mom? Did he just say mom? No. No. Why is he why why does he have a singular mattress see, sitting I on put the it back on his thing? I'm about to go lay back down and I'm gonna hope to God that nothing does any weird because I feel like there's weird right there. But at the same time it could be friendly. Oh god, now look at me, I'm starting to sound like a fing weirdo. You got weirdos and shit like that? I'm gonna take another shot, hold on. Okay, move that. Do you see that? What? See bro, stuff like this, it would be cool and also not so You're cool. I don't know what to do. I'm also scared to show you guys my face because I look pretty f***ing ugly, but here you go. Yo, YOLO. What's good, bro? Bro. Bro. Are you good, bro? Are you good, Are you good, bro? good, bro? Do you see any f***ing strings? Did you guys see it move? And just two days later, it happens again. So for like a whole day, nothing has been going down and then this can happens okay there's nothing <clears throat> i even brought over somebody They're i don't know why the she's fast asleep i've been drinking a little bit maybe it's only when i get drunk but regardless dude that's really f***ed up you shouldn't be doing that you shouldn't be doing that you should not you should not be doing that please stop doing that okay okay stay there be chill Stop for a minute. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> sorry, but I'm gonna leave. I'm really sorry for that. Oh. Um, <clears throat> that light shut off. There's a switch right there. It got switched off. Turning off this light. F it. So I ended up taking a trip to Walmart. <laughs> can't really. Handle. Can't really handle what's happening. I have that jacket. Josiah decides to take what? a trip to a department store to get a break from the constant strange activity. But when he returns, it only seems to get worse. I've been cleaning up since I woke up, okay? And I've been hearing a lot of weird shit, but for some reason, whenever I pull my camera out, it stops. But that didn't stop, did it? What the fuck was it? What was it? I was laying in bed watching some fing guy. Shit. This turned off, then I went to go grab a drink and for some fing. Are you fing joking? Can you please fing stop? Do you see? I don't, that's hard to fake. <sighs> Bro, my leg just this got. It's starting to get more fing sketched out. Know. Actually, to be honest with you, like I'm starting to get more scared. Like, uh, as we go along. The bizarre occurrences are even witnessed by his friends. I really wish I recorded it. That thing fell over twice. Two times, not once. Don't 
twice, and this mother I just picked it up. This mother over here is acting like nothing ever happened. If you don't imagine it, it didn't <laughs> If it didn't happen, it didn't happen, huh? Look okay, well, we're about to leave. <laughs> <laughs> but then the paranormal activity in his home just becomes a little too extreme for Josiah. I, I don't know if I'm even recording. I don't know if I'm okay with being here. Um, I'm gonna end up leaving. It doesn't like that he's leaving. I'm not a bitch. At least I didn't think I was. But I'm starting to progressively become more scared. <laughs> it's like... Oh god, you just can't really handle that. That's not real life, is it? Oh, I need to take another shot. Now, of course, this could just be a huge TikTok hoax, but in that last video, Josiah certainly seemed pretty upset. Mm -hmm. But what do you think? To follow his continuing story, head over to Josiah Worley's TikTok page. TikTok user Kelsey Flynn says that a friend took her picture while she was trying on a bridesmaid's dress in a local shop. When she looks back at the picture, things get truly bizarre. I went bridesmaid shopping yesterday and I had on this dress and my sister is gonna wear this one. So I took this picture this and I just sent video? it to her this morning and she responds saying, oh my God, that picture is possessed. This is the full photo. What? Look at my face here. This is not a serious smile, but look at my face here. And now look at my reflection in the back. I'm sorry. What the f what the fuck is that? I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. That's possessed. That is, is the possessed? truth or dare smile. That where are my teeth? That's not even the same. F that is not the same smile. Is that? Wow. I can't. Now there's a digital camera effect called rolling shutter that can make different parts of a picture appear altered if they happen within just a fraction of a second. Like for example, spinning helicopter blades or a quick blink of the eyes. Luke Mandel submitted this photo to Boing Boing. His camera scans left to right, and in this instance, managed to capture a blink, eyes closed when the scan began, and then open in the reflection, scanned a fraction of a second later. Okay. But for Kelsey's entire face and expression to change from this to this, it seems like it would take longer than just the blink of an eye. But what do you think? Is this just a digital glitch, or did Kelsey Flynn catch something paranormal in her photo? I don't know. The doors strike. Okay. Ooh, that was a twist of a day, boys. Uh, again, I am live streaming at 2 o'clock, so in, like, what is it, 3 hours or 4 hours, I will be live streaming the Minecraft Dungeons gameplay. So stay tuned for that, and I gotta edit this video real quick, so I see you guys in the next one. Peace.